I wanted to share, I've shared a lot of heartache, but I wanted to share some good news. Um, and, and I wanted to ask everybody for prayer because I'm still very, very gun shy. Um, I experienced too much loss and too much trauma over the last two years, getting off of methadone that I'm a little upset with God. Um, I'm just being honest, but it does look like he is having pity on me. Uh, and I just want to tell a story that means a lot to me, and it'll mean a lot to those of you who know martial arts. Uh, I grew up, um, let's see, uh, most of my childhood was stutter, was studying under uh, Robin Taberna. And Robin uh, Taberna is a, a very well-known individual and became really well-known after um, I stopped studying under him, which, which was about 17 and a half, because my senior year in high school, do you know, I had a hard enough time getting through school. Um, but anyway, I digest, as they say. Uh, but anyway, over the last uh, two years, I've been, you know, working on myself uh, physically. And um, I've been uh, back into martial arts for a while now, and I've gotten my body almost back into, you know, shape. Uh, I still got a lot of pain. I deal with high levels of pain, but uh, for me now, that's a mental issue. Um, although I do step sometimes and I lose my leg because it pinches the nerve. But um, to make a long story short, uh, Leo Fong, um, the man who was uh, one of the leaders there in Chinatown in San Francisco, uh, the one who forbade, uh, or forbade Bruce Lee, uh, to teach Westerners. Uh, there's a lot of movies that have been made over this. Leo Fong is um, um, a hero within martial arts. Well, Leo Fong taught Robin Taberna uh, the paddle. It's an ancient Okinawan weapon. Um, warriors, the warrior fishermen, uh, so to speak, used it. And it was passed down to Robin uh, from Leo Fong. And it's one of those things where you only pass it down to those you trust or entrust with it. So I was talking to my sensei, uh, Grandmaster Taberna, and um, told him my story and my fight, uh, fight with addiction, all of that stuff. And told him my goal was to uh, compete in the over 50 uh, black belt division in Katas. And since uh, Robin Taberna is the national champion in Kata, uh, even Grandmaster Jack Long, my sensei now, uh, was a uh, national champion in Kata. Um, Robin offered to teach me, since a Robin offered to teach me um, this weapon. And uh, in doing that, I have to agree that I only pass on um, this knowledge to black belt students of mine who um, are worthy of such a thing. So it's, it's a really high honor. And um, to most people, it won't really mean much. But like in the world of scholarship, um, God was gracious enough to me to let me be mentored by Norm Geisler and become his friend. And um, looks like the Lord is bringing martial arts back into my life um, as a focus. Uh, music is back in my life again as a focus. 
And lo and behold, I think he might just be bringing all three of those together, scholarship and the other ones I've mentioned, martial arts, drumming, because I still want to join a band and uh, use that as a platform because, let's face it, I'm persona non grata in the mainstream Christian ministry type thing, and I, I really, at this point, I don't really care um, because where I deal with life, with the homeless and people that don't know where their next meal is coming from and they have to uh, live out in the cold, um, it's not this pansy Christianity that you all see in church. Uh, I need to be able to defend myself and I need to be able to defend the helpless. I'm sorry, but that is so politically incorrect, but that is absolutely what the Lord has taught me. And I had planned on, uh, you know, doing some things last night if what I was told was true, that a man was um, abusing a woman. Uh if a man is beating on a woman, that's the best way to get me to beat on them. I'm sorry. I'm not a pansy Christian anymore. But anywho, I digest, as they say. Uh, I just thank God for this. Um, I could be wrong. I mean, it could be just, I don't know, chance. But like I said, I, I am I'm, uh, skittish with my relationship with the Lord right now. I know he's there. I love him. But I actually feel rejected by him because it hasn't been a great couple of years. And like I said, I'm persona non grata these days. And all I've tried to do was to be authentic to who God is and to who I am. I cannot lie anymore. I can't play the games that the church plays anymore. I can't pretend to smile when people are lying to my face. Uh, I'm just not going to bend over anymore and take it up the booty hole, as they say. It's time for Christianity to get a backbone and we need some warrior saints, physical warrior saints and spiritual warrior saints. We need in Christianity what the Shalon Temple is to monks. We need godly men and women. Shoot, I've seen a lot of women that kick my butt and I let them. <laughs> Don't tell Tammy. Um, anywho, we need that in Christianity. We have lost it. We've Oh my God, don't even get me started on the state of masculinity in our world. You know, I, I think Andrew Tate might be about 90% right on most stuff. Because most of it is just to poke at people. I love to poke at people. I like to uh, cross the line. Well, for me, there is no line anymore. Because I'm tired of playing games. It's about life and death. And the fact that I almost died twice. Uh, methadone was killing me. And then trying to get off of it almost killed me. And it almost killed me at least two, three times total. And I uh, can't play games anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Can't. I can't play the goody two-shoes. I tried real hard, and I lost myself. I can't play the ministry games that go on in the American church. And I'm here to repudiate and stomp all over mainline pussified Christianity. Sorry, Tammy told me not to use that word because it's vulgar. But in my day, it just meant a sissy. Now, in the Bible... Uh, God ridicules men by calling them women. So uh, in a general sense, that's all I mean. Um, 
Anywho, I made me some taquitos. And while I was thinking about it, I just wanted to uh, share a little bit about what I've been through. A little bit of light. Not a whole lot. Because my goal was always to have a platform. You know, to speak forth the gospel and preach. But if the Lord wants to give me my platform through another means, I always thought I was a fantastic preacher. <laughs> but I guess I wasn't a good enough preacher to let that talent stand out on its own. So the Lord, I think, I hope, but I'm at this point where I'm not even going to get my hopes up. Because I don't even know if I'm sane or still crazy now, to be honest. I just know that I'm different from like three months ago. But I don't know if I'm normal anymore. I could be a madman, but at least my heart wants to be a man-man a madman for Jesus.